Hey guys, my name's Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to share two planters that I made with you guys and technically they're cover pots because we're going to be using air dry clay. But I would say that these were pretty simple to make and the hardest part about making them was actually painting them. So let's just get into it. Since we're going to be working with air dry clay, you're going to want to use a container like this because if you don't and you put your plant inside of the planter and then you water it, your clay will crumble because you can't get air dry clay wet. So make sure you have a container like this. It can be made out of glass, plastic, or metal. And this is just an old Bath & Body Works candle jar. And then for our clay, we're gonna be using Daz air dry clay because this clay will not crack once it dries up against the glass. All right, so take a big chunk of clay and roll it out. I'm gonna cut out a straight line on the left and then on the bottom. And then right here, I'm just checking to make sure that there's enough clay to cover the container vertically. Now I'm just going to wrap the clay around the container and then cut off the extra using my scraper tool. Right here, I'm just connecting the ends together. So now I'm just going to remove the extra clay hanging off of the top of the planter. And I didn't really have a correct way of doing this. It was just easiest to rip off the extra clay with my hands. I'm going in with my needle tool just to clean up the top a little bit. Moving on to the bottom, I'm gonna pull down on the clay to make sure that it covers the edges of the bottom. And now using my loop tool, I'm just gonna take off some of that extra clay that I have around some of the edge. And then I'm just gonna finish fixing this with my fingers. With my sponge, I'm gonna smooth out the clay everywhere to try to get this as smooth as possible. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth using my sponge and my fingers. This is as good as I think I'm gonna get this and I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these mushroom stamps that I got from Joann's a while ago, and I'm gonna stamp our planter with these. And I'm using mushrooms because I just think they're so cute. Like, I love their aesthetic. And you, of course, can use whatever stamps you have. And there we go, we have our first stamp. And now we have our second stamp. So just keep going like that all around your planter. And I have a bunch of different mushroom stamps, so I'm gonna make sure to use all of them. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna let this dry for two days. The following Thursday. All right guys, so this is how our planter is looking like after it's dried. And now I'm gonna paint in the little mushroom outlines. So for this, I'm using a very fine line brush. And to be honest, this was the hardest part about making this planter. You just have to have some patience and this doesn't have to be perfect. So just try your best and it'll all work out.
Okay, so we have one done and the rest to go. Now that they're all painted in, I'm going to seal this planter with some matte Mod Podge and then we're done. Okay guys, so this second planter is inspired by this planter that I saw on Urban Outfitters. Okay, so for our second planter, I'm going to be using this fishbowl type jar that I got from Dollar Tree. This one fits nursery pots that are up to three and a half inches wide. If you need a wider top, you could also use a cereal bowl because it would give you like essentially the same shape but with a wider top. All right, so I'm gonna take some DAS clay and I'm gonna spread it out with my fingers and then I'm gonna add some water to it to make it tacky. And then I'm gonna press it onto our container and spread it out a little bit more with my fingers there. Then just keep doing the exact same thing all around the jar. I ran out of my white Daz Clay and had to start using some of my terracotta Daz Clay, which is the only reason I have two colors on there. Now that my jar is all covered up everywhere, I'm going to turn it to the bottom and using my loop tool, I'm just going to take off that extra clay down there. You can cover the bottoms of your planters if you want, but I never like to, so that's why I take mine off. And now I'm just going to smooth everything out using my fingers and my sponge. This is as smooth as I think I'm going to get my jar for now. And on a separate piece of paper, I drew a little smiley face and I'm going to put that paper up against my jar and using the back of a paintbrush, I'm just going to lightly trace over that smiley face to like kind of engrave it into our clay. And I went over this a couple of times with the back of that paintbrush just until I was happy with it. Going back to my stamps, I'm going to use this snail stamp here and I'm going to press this all around our planter. The last thing I'm going to do is roll out a little bit of a coil but kind of shape it into like a squarish form and I'm going to make little feet for our planter. Next, I'm going to stick my feet onto my planter and this is basically what I did and they stuck on but if I were to go back I would have used some slip to make them stick on better because you guys will see what happens in a little bit but for now I'm going to let this dry for a couple of days. Many hours later. So here's our planter dry and it's looking so cute.
I do want to make this a little bit smoother so I'm gonna sand my planter and I was being a little rougher than I should have with this and I accidentally knocked off one of its little legs and then you can see that the clay was actually still kind of like wet it wasn't fully dried I probably should have waited a little bit longer but oh well <laughs> So to fix this, I'm going to take some wood glue and I'm going to put the wood glue on the planter and also on the little leg and then I'm just going to stick them together and yeah, it stayed and worked out perfectly fine. I haven't had an issue with this, so if one of your little legs pops off, don't freak out. You can just glue it back on. Also, you could let your legs dry separately and then once they're dry, you can glue them onto your planter. Moving on, we can finally paint, and I'm going to paint mine a light cream. really tell what I'm doing but I'm speckling my planter with an ashy brown and now I'm gonna paint in its little face Taking my liner brush, I'm going to paint in the little snail. So this is how my planter is looking like after all the little snails are painted in and it looks so adorable. The last thing we got to do is seal this and I'm going to use Deco Arts Triple Thick Gloss Glaze which is my favorite sealer. And then we're done guys and this is my favorite planner I think I've made so far. It's so cute! Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys try one of these out and let me know if you have any questions. And I do have another video where I make planters on my channel, so I'll link that for you guys if you want to check it out. And subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!